Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this greeting card in Word. You can either do this greeting card or take the background off and just have a plain background. And of course, we'll take the line out as well so that you don't have that in the final print. So let's open a new document. And the first thing we need to do is change the orientation of this page. So go up to Layout, Orientation, click on the drop down and select Landscape. And then we need to find out halfway down this page, but we need to do that with a guide that won't interfere with our design process. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into the headers and footers. And the way in which to do this quickly and easily is to move your cursor to the top of the page and double click. And as you can see, we're now in the headers and footers. Go up to insert, go to shapes, click on the drop down and select line. Click, begin to drag and then hold down your shift key so you get a perfectly vertical line. Once you've done that, go to the alignment tool and select align to center. That will align your line to the center of your page. And then if we just double click in the main area here, this line will remain, but we can't move it, we can't select it, and we can't interfere with it. And nothing that we then put inside this design will nudge or interfere with this line. And that will just give us our guide for our center of our page. So the design will be on this page here, because obviously when you print it out, you will fold it and it will be on this side of the page. Now our design options are varied. So I'm gonna go onto the internet and I'm going to go to this site called pixabay.com. So Pixabay has lots of royalty free images that you can use on your cards. So in the search engine at the top here, I'm just going to type flowers in vase. Then I'm going to go to the drop down and I'm going to select illustrations. Don't select from the top ones here because all of these are sponsored and it will take you to a different website. Start here where it says royalty free illustrations and you can simply scroll down you need to select something with these black and white checkerboard squares behind because with these it means that this image is isolated and it doesn't have a background. You can select an image if you want, it's completely up to you, but if you want that perfect background then make sure it's an image without with this checkerboard effect at the back. So scroll through and select one that you like. I chose this one here so click on it. Then go to download, click on the drop down and then select the size of image that you like. I always generally go for around about this size and click download. So mine's now downloaded. So go to insert, picture, click on the drop down and select picture from file. I'm going to go to my download file, which is here. And then at the top here, you can see my file and then click insert. When you insert an image into Word, you can't move it. So make sure it's selected. Go to wrap text and select in front of text. And then we can move it anywhere around our page. I'm gonna make sure it's over here and relatively centered, but towards the bottom of the page. Then deselect it. And now we're going to insert some text. And I find the best way to do this is with text boxes. So go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then just click and draw out a text box. And in the text here, you can see my cursor's flashing. I'm just going to type my text. And if I deselect it, you can see we've got this black border line and we also have a white background. So if I move it, you can see it's got a white background, this box. So I'm just gonna get rid of both of those and customize the text. So select it, go to shape format Go to this icon here, click on the drop down and select no outline, go to shape fill and select no fill. So for my text here, I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm going to click on the drop down of my fonts and select Balania, but you can select any font you like. And then I'm going to increase the font size using this increase font size tool. And then I'm going to change the font color. Now you might be thinking I haven't quite finished the title. I haven't but I am going to copy and paste this text box because you can see I'm making lots of customizations. So instead of doing that all for the second box, then it means I can just copy and paste it and retype the text. So I'm going to select the text and I'm going to go up to this icon here, which is font color. 
You can select from any colour, but I like to match the colours to my image. So go to more colours and here you'll have a colour wheel. And what you can do is move this cursor around this wheel and you can see as I move it, the colour in this square changes. If you go towards the centre, it's lighter and towards the edge, it's darker and more saturated. And if you move this slider, it will mean that colour's darker or lighter. You can perfectly colour match to the image you've chosen. Alternatively, if you're fortunate enough to have this eyedropper tool, it's going to make life really easy because you just click on it, you move it over to a particular colour you want and just click and that colour will be picked and placed into this square and then you just click OK and you can see we've perfectly matched that colour. Once we've done that, I'm going to copy and paste this text box the easiest way to do it is make sure it's selected, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and just drag and it will copy and paste that box for you. I'm going to deselect everything and then reselect this box and then I'm just going to click again, select my text and then just type my word bunch. Now I'm also going to reduce the size of this font because it's a little bit too big so I'm going to go to decrease font size here. I'm just going to reduce the size of this box and then you can begin to move this text around so that it perfectly suits you and your look. Maybe I can make this font a little bit bigger so I'm going to make it 42, deselect it and then reselect it so I can move it. Now if you want your car to be just like this it's absolutely fine this lovely white background but you can put a background colour on this. There's a couple of things you have to know about it. First of all, let's insert the background. Go to Insert, Shapes, click on the drop down and select the square. Just click and drag out a rectangle to cover the area you want to for your design. Now the reason I haven't gone to the edges is because most printers do not have borderless printing. Some do, so you can take this square right up to the edges here and print it out. But for those of you who don't have borderless printing, you will always have a white borderline around the outside of your card. So I'm just going to put this square here so that you also have that borderless line here as well. So I can also go to align and go to align to middle. That will mean that the top and the bottom are perfectly lined up, but I can't do that the other way because if I select a line to center it's going to line it to the center of my page and not to this area here. So I'm just going to make sure that's aligned again and then I can just use my arrow keys to align that box left and right perfectly by eye to the center. Now you can see it's covering my design so all I need to do is whilst it's selected go to send backwards click on the drop down and select center back and now we can change the colour. So again, select it, go to Shape Fill, and once again, you can go to More Fill Colours and match the colour, or select from a standard colour. I've already gone and selected a colour, so I'm going to select my recent colours, but for me, this is a little bit too bright. So whilst it's selected, make sure you're on Shape Format, go over to Format Pane, and then go to the Bucket icon. Here you've got fill, so if we click on the drop down, this is where you can put all your colours in as well. It's a little bit more advanced menu, but if you go down to transparency, click and drag this little marker over, and you can see that you can make it a lot more transparent to your taste. And in addition, if you go to line, if I just deselect, you can see we've got this line around the outside. Now for you that might be great and perfect, that's fine, if not, just select it, go to the bucket icon and just select no line and deselect. Now at the moment everything's a little bit too high and a bit too close to this edge so I'm just going to select everything, use my arrow keys just to move everything down a little bit. Perfect. So once you're happy with your card you can save it in numerous ways. You can save it as a normal document and just print it out. You can save it as a PDF and you can send it to somebody or you can save it as a template and use it over and over again and just make some adjustments if you're personalising this and perhaps putting a name on it. 
So if you want to do the template, go to File, go to Save as Template, make sure you're in the Templates file here, and make sure the file format is Microsoft Word Templates, and click Save. That will mean that when you go into your Word software, you have your templates on your home page, and you can just select it from there. So to take this line out, just double click at the top, you're in the headers and footers, select the line, and then just press Delete, and then just select anywhere in the center, double click, and then you're back into your document. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.